It's been almost three weeks since Attawapiskat First Nation Chief Teresa Spence has eaten solid food. The chief is on a hunger strike. Her protest of what she calls uh, the Harper government's neglect of Canada's relations with Aboriginals. Our Christy Kirkup's been following the story from our Parliamentary Bureau in Ottawa, and she spoke with Pat Bolland earlier. She actually uh, met with uh, dozens of MPs. Uh, she had a bit of an open house over the weekend. Uh, and certainly opposition parties uh, have gotten on board uh, with her personal protest, uh, which is really a call for a conversation uh, for what she says is constitutionally entitled uh, conversation and consultation uh, that is entitled to First Nations. And she says that she really wants a meeting to happen, uh, not just between her and the Prime Minister. She wants Aboriginal leaders to be able to meet with Prime Minister Stephen Harper and a representative of the Crown because of course the Crown signed uh, the original treaties uh, with First Nations and those treaties of course were signed in the spirit of partnership and she says that really uh, the root of these treaties uh, is not being upheld uh, and when she was uh, speaking to uh, Sun News earlier uh, on the weekend here's a bit of what she had to say. Um, I invited them to uh, come and listen what uh, what I had to say and what's uh, what's been going on, and for the you know for the gov government and uh, the crown to recognize our leaders and uh, because as First Nations people, we honor our leadership and it should be the same with the crown and the uh, the prime minister and the governments. It's time to work together in uh, in peace and, uh, and to honor the treaty. We have in good faith have been honoring this treaty in. Uh, the relationship with uh, with the government in the crown. And certainly this story, Pat, is not just about one chief and about a hunger strike. Really, there has been a growing grassroots First Nations movement that has really been behind a number of blockades and protests right across the country. And this has been happening and growing for a number of weeks. There have been protests, uh, a couple here in Ottawa as well, uh, in uh, major Canadian cities, including Vancouver, uh, Saskatoon. Uh, there's going to be one, a New Year's uh, protest happening in in Winnipeg uh, as well. There have been protests that have ha been happening in the United States uh, and other places uh, around the globe. And certainly uh, there are uh, activists and advocates that are certainly getting on board with that call uh, for Indigenous Canadians to be able to have a conversation uh, with the federal government. Uh, but the federal government has uh, really put one proposal on the table. They have said uh, that the Aboriginal Affairs Minister is willing to meet with the hunger striking Theresa Spence. Uh, but she is not on board with meeting him. They certainly don't have a good relationship stemming back to the uh, housing crisis that was uh, plaguing uh, the Attawapiskat First Nation uh, in 2011. And so she has rejected that offer. And certainly from the Prime Minister's office, there isn't an updated statement suggesting uh, that the Prime Minister is going to be meeting with Spence or First Nations leaders in general anytime soon. No, but it's fostered these idle no more demonstrations you've been referencing. What exactly is fueling all the frustration amongst the First Nation protesters? Well, I don't know more. Organizers say that there are a number of issues that have been plaguing First Nations communities for far too long. They say that there's a lack of safe drinking water. There's violence against Indigenous women. There's a housing crisis, uh, problems uh, with uh, gaps in education. And certainly this has been documented by uh, reports. Uh, for example, the education crisis in First Nations communities was documented by an all-party Senate report that was recently put out. Uh, the federal government certainly has pointed to the fact that they are investing, uh, they are spending money to try and improve conditions. Uh, but certainly, again, there, there have been even officers of parliament, the former Auditor General Sheila Fraser, in her swan song before she actually left the office, she uh, suggested that conditions in First Nations communities were unacceptable. Uh, and she really called on the federal government to look at some of the structural issues to try and improve those conditions. That was Christy Kirkup speaking with our Pat Boland a little bit earlier on today.